It's Friday, August 11th, and I'm here in Stockholm to give you my week's update on what's moving the markets. Welcome to Nordic Market News. This week has seen downward movements in most of the major Nordic indices and spikes in the volatility indices. And these spikes can be attributed to the geopolitical tensions between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. Disregarding politics and looking at earnings, uh, this week has been rather calm with only a handful of companies reporting and therefore it's been somewhat of a transition week before the final rush of the earnings season that will start next week. And we can expect companies reporting such as Carlsberg, the Swedish Ica and Vestas. So stay tuned for that. As for this week, with index levels taken from around 11 Friday, the Copenhagen C20 leads the Nordic major indices uh, and is down about 0.5%. The Norwegian OBX is down about 1% for the week, while Stockholm and Helsinki are huddled as the bottom pair, down about 2% each. On Monday, Nordea markets spiced things up by lowering their outlook on the price of salmon. Norwegian markets were the most upset to this declining value of their favorite fish, where salmon producers Bakke Frost and Salmar saw the largest drops in share price. The price of salmon has declined by around 11% during the month of July. We've talked about Pandora in previous episodes of Nordic Market News, but the Danish jewelry maker is worth the mention once again. The stock fell almost 14% when it disappointed investors on several accounts in what was a terrible earnings report for the company's second quarter. On Tuesday, Finnish tire maker Nokian surprised investors by posting better than expected quarterly results. The surprise gained additional power as the company also raised its outlook for the rest of the year and the stock raised more than 6%. Danish company Novo Nordisk made the biggest splash in the news on Wednesday and the stock raised almost 8% after the company posted their earnings for the second quarter. After the market had closed on Wednesday, however, another Danish pharmaceutical company, Genmob, posted its quarterly earnings. As markets opened on Thursday, the disappointment was a fact and the stock closed about 4% lower. Seamless Distributions, a Swedish payment solutions company, sealed a licensing deal with Mastercard on Tuesday, and subsequently they received an order from a Hungarian bank the following day. The company exploded on the markets on the news and gained as much as 60% over the two days. The stock recoiled by double digits on Thursday, but it ends the week significantly higher as a whole. Thank you for watching this week's Nordic Market News. Have a great weekend.